What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him, are the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellis girls hang out at a bar of yours. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tom, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Abby. We're helping him out. Find anything good? He's gonna drive the bar? Yeah, I... Nah. I'm watching. Well, job, Got it? I get it. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. Hello, everybody of the SEAL universe. SEAL 99 plays here. And welcome to Mafia. Or well, welcome back to Mafia, I guess I used to say. In the last episode, we did the first two story missions, and yeah, I'm kind of now exploring the, the mission is here to stay. Anyway, so let's go. We're joining back with Polly. We are joining back with Polly. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. To make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Got it. Gun guy. Oh, yep. So last episode, we helped Polly and Sam in our taxi cab. We joined Thomas Angelo as he's retelling his story about how he met Don Salieri and got into a lot of that stuff. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. It's here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Thanks, Vinny. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't think like one of my friends. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck? 
there, Polly. You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Just sh show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Damn. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Damn. I was trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, that guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So... Is that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian Makes whiskey sense. that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. Dames they got in these places, best tables, best food, best skirt, some way to live. <laughs> right now, I so. all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. <laughs> well, if it don't go fine. Try not to let them see your face. Either that, yeah, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. That's smart. Oh yeah, so yeah. Cool, so we got introduced to the game. We met, met, met the big boss, Don Salieri, met Frank. He's kind of, I think, the con I think he's like the concierge or whatever the hell. He's like the second... He's the second dude in command. I don't know what they're called exactly. But yeah. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's <laughs> always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Nah, this car ain't the best, but you know, it gets the job done. Okay, it's close by. Morello's right. goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but Morello's. it's a no name schmuck. Morello's bar. You gotta sneak Lounge in bar. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <laughs> Thanks, Polly. What a good guy. Okay. Know how to go quiet, right? Chops. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. 
No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. True, true. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and chop them from behind. Be real good at distracting. It's the best thing. Ah, boss is plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Make sure you be careful. What you doing? Thank you. Dino, damn. Now let's get to these cars. Take it back and start swinging. <laughs> oh, the really got you pissed, huh? No one's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. Get away from the car! Uh, gonna lay Knock you out! Time. Uh, you got some kind of death wish? Hmm? Uh, son of a... Bonk. Bonk. And bonk. Bonk. Use a Molotov and let's see some planes. Throw some fire! Love the smell of burning paintwork. Oh, block. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. Thing in Dino's? This is Dino's car. I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right Hold here on. around the Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Oh, well, the bulls showed! Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Yeah, that's true. Lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. I'll try, Polly. Cool, so we torch some cars. Oh, bro, there. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? Uh, the stay out of sight part. I'm careful, Tom. You don't need more heat. Bro, why are they still following me? They're back. Why are they still following? They're on a straightaway. Alright, gotta do some. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Only we're not. We still got a guy on us. Out of the way, taxi! Almost in the clear. Almost. Out of the way, taxi! We're almost in the clear. Almost. Die, Tom! Die! Polly, don't yell at me. I'm trying to avoid cops. Hmm? 
All right, you don't have to shout at me. There's more cops. What do you mean there's more cops? There's more cops. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Cilieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Oof, yeah, that's... How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Yes. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Yeah, what is it? The car I sent you out with. Dumped it. Why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b better car with a b broken window? Fresh air ain't never killed nobody. Sorry, Ralphie. <laughs> Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, boss. It's done. No trouble. It's done. Uh, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Good, nah. good. Sit down. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision <laughs> I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. <laughs> now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Cillier. Got it. So no cursing, no dope. Gonna only ask and one more thing, Tommy. don't kill the cops. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? Respect. They're loyal. That works too. That's right. <laughs> now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life now. But you abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay then. Welcome to the family. I hope this no doesn't go no well. Starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. Thank you, Frank. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. <laughs> Very good to know. All right, so that ends Molotov party. So that was a pretty good mission. Uh, I think we're actually going to make this a short episode, mainly because of my schedule for today. So, a little 20-minute episode just kind of showing the update 
out of all that. Sorry that I'm not talking too much. I'm probably going to lower the volume in future episodes so you guys can probably hear me and I can also talk over stuff. It's just I'm silent for the cutscenes and the dialogue because I want you guys to absorb everything type thing. And also I'm trying to absorb it too. So yeah, we are now in the family. Yippee! Anyway, so I... Like I said, sort of episode today. Next episode should be around 30-ish minutes again. Maybe two mission, maybe two missions in an episode. Who knows, depending on how long those missions are. Anyway, I digress. But yeah, Seal Universe. Hope you're enjoying this Let's Play of Mafia. And uh, you hope you'll, you'll keep following following this Let's Play. And this will be Seal 99 Plays. Signing out!